Members from the local Sebastian Inlet chapter of the Surfrider Foundation travel to Madura Beach on Saturday, February 24th for a successful demonstration to protest the dumping of partially treated sewage by gambling ships just off the west coast. Members young and old met with interested citizens and surfers alike for a beachside and in-ocean protest. More than 30 protesters gathered on the Johns Pass Bridge, on the beach, and in two boats holding signs and surfboards reading Pump Don't Dump, Dilution is Not the Solution, and No Poo in the Big Blue. Local citizens also stopped by during their morning beach walks to see what the event was all about and joined the demonstration by holding banners and recruiting other passers-by. An airplane flying a large banner with the phrase, Got Sewage? Sun Cruise dumps it daily, circled the gambling ship during the mid-morning event. Following the protest, Greg Gordon from the Sebastian Inlet chapter demonstrated the minimal steps currently used by the casino ship industry to treat and dump partially treated sewage directly into the Gulf of Mexico and into the Atlantic Ocean. Gambling ships like the Sun Cruise Casino dump thousands of gallons of partially treated sewage directly into the ocean on a daily basis. The environmental impact is extreme to say the least, said Rick Hayes, Sebastian Inland Chapter Chairman. The sewage is dumped in the prime fishing locations, adversely affecting an important Florida industry and recreational pastime, and the waste washes to shore, leaving the ocean an unsafe place for surfers, their families, and tourists to spend their time. The protest was in conjunction with Surfrider Foundation's support of the Clean Oceans Bill, sponsored by Representative Bob Allen and Senator Mike Bennett. If passed, the bill would establish a fee for waste removal by the ports that gambling ships have to pay, even if they still dump their waste in the ocean. The bill would also require the ships to register with the Florida Department of Environmental Protection, and copies of the bill were provided to Surfrider members and interested citizens after the demonstration, and everyone was encouraged to work with their local government representatives to raise awareness of the bill. The response from citizens and surfers who live on the West Coast was so positive that a Sun Coast chapter of Surfrider Foundation is currently in development. The Surfrider Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit organization dedicated to the protection and enjoyment of the world's ocean waves and beaches for all people through conservation, activism, research, and education. Represented by over 50,000 members and 60 local chapters in the U.S., including the Sebastian Inlet chapter, the Surfrider Foundation also has affiliations in Australia, Japan, France and Brazil. For more information, please visit www.surfrider.org.